Are you really going to let a free online game free? Online game dictate what you do with your life? Changed. Get rid of this quest. Now that Hydra Clash exists, people need their actual time and to put effort into their runs. I work a 12 hour, I work 12 hour shifts. I come home, I see I have this quest three days in a row. On work days, I try my best to rush all my daily game stuff while preparing for bed. But now all three days, I gotta do my three over one hour, <laughs> my three over one hour runs of Hydra. Um, I, I kind of chuckled there just because like it, it's legit, right? Here's the thing. Even if you have a full auto team that goes all the way to like um, the turn limit, it's still about a 45 minute run, right? Somewhere between 30, 45 minutes, right? Uh, something like that. And, uh, you know, I, I on normal and on hard, I'm able to just leave it on auto and it'll hit the turn limit. But even then, it's still about somewhere between 30, 35, 45 minutes almost an hour sometimes on like bad rng or if there's just like you know whatever it is but uh people like me should not be rushed and just have their own time for their keys whenever they're free and i think this is a legitimate thing right um or what about like people who can't do hydra yet right i think people who are still relatively new to the game don't have the capabilities to do hydra yet to do it at like the best capacity or whatever you want to call it like yeah the and i've said this before like the very bottom chest for hydra doesn't really take much to get and that's true but very early on when you're absorbing everything in the game it's kind of hard to <laughs> like there's just a shit ton of things that's going on in this game and when you aren't a seasoned player and you, you're not like me who's been playing five plus years this stuff doesn't come naturally to you right so, you know, a few points, yes, it doesn't take a lot to get your one key in. You could just go in, throw in your one champion, finish this mission, right? This this is something you could do. Just, I don't know, throw in your Kale and then leave the game if you don't even want to do the entire run, right? But the other thing is, even if you do work a 12 hour shift, uh, you know, you could just leave it in your pocket. I, I don't know, I don't know this guy's situation, but I mean, there's still another 12 hours in which you could just, you know, leave it on. Or if you really just want to get this mission done, like I said, just go in, end the battle. Be in a clan that doesn't require you to do Hydra. Who doesn't care about Hydra? But this, I, I can totally understand um, people's laments. Another question I do have is people who are... Because I know that Hydra doesn't... And I only realized this when I did my free-to-play account. When I started again and then I gave that account away and then I, my, I was helping my wife with her account. Do you guys know if... This quest, if you guys get this quest when you're still, like, under level, because I know Hydra doesn't unlock until, like, what, level 40, 45, or something like that. Do you guys still get this quest? Let me know. When Cursed City was released, they added a quest for it that replaced the Silver Key quest. So Polarium already knows they can change stuff. Just get rid of it. Ruins Hydra Clash efforts. You know what's another mission that I really, I just abhor it? Uh, this is my wife's account, by the way, speaking of. I just hate this mission here. Where is it? The monthly mission to do... Oh, it's done here, but um, it, it's just done because I've knocked it out of the way. But the mission to do 500 campaign runs is abysmal. I hate that mission so much. It's just like, it's completely ridiculous that even if you're in the end game, And I, I'd, I'd be interested to see what you guys think if you're a newer player or... Um, well, I guess if you're a newer player or even mid game, late game, you're naturally doing campaign 12 three runs anyway because that's where you're farming silver and leveling up champions so i guess that makes sense because that's what i used to do before i was able to just farm spider for silver that's what i was doing before i was just getting a bunch of brews from clan boss that's what i was doing so that makes sense but i think after a certain point they should make it like if you're level i don't know if you're level 100 the quest to do 500 battles should be removed granted the argument against that is you're not going to be getting mystery shards mystery shards that you need to do your dailies and whatnot because I, I know uh, me personally i don't like coming in here and doing one single 10 uh, or I, I prefer to do with 10 pull rather rather than doing like a bunch of single pulls you know what i mean sorry if i'm like stumbling and rushing my words where my wife and i are about to go out to dinner with, with some friends but yeah that's another mission that that i personally don't like and I'm, I'm curious what's the bottom chest the bottom chest you only need 1.67 million damage and I say only 1.67 million damage, but uh, I, I don't know how early you're going to be able to start doing that if you're a, a brand new player. 
But I understand where he's coming from. I don't think this is a, a bad thing to bring up. I think this is legitimate concern. And I think this is a legitimate thing that needs to be updated with Polarium. Because this quest, um, the 500 battle quest, and there are just some like really annoying quests like forcing us to do and the reason they do this is because they force us to do certain content in the game like the cursed city shit and the tag team arena is another thing and that kind of annoys me like i wish it was a little consistent because for the advanced quests right if you're the type to do advanced quests this always changes it's it's fight a tag team arena with um four different affinities or it's like um I, I don't know if this particular tag team arena thing changes or if it's like classic arena, but I know like this teeters, teeter totters between classic arena and tag team arena. And that's extremely annoying. I wish it would just be one thing. Or another thing that I get is defeat clan boss with one rare champion. And when you're a balls deep end gamer, you don't really use an unkillable team anymore. Or at least me, I, I, me and like a bunch of other people that I'm uh, surrounded by in, in my clan and stuff. A lot of us don't even bother with unkillable teams anymore. I know a lot of people that just run a traditional team, but we have like, like up the ass end game gear and very pay to win champions to be able to, to do that. And now that I'm saying it out loud, I just sound stupid. So I realize I'm only uh, talking about myself and a very small minuscule percentage of the player so maybe i i take that part back but uh, just a personal off off the the main tangent here since i don't use unkillable teams i don't bother putting rare champions in my my clan boss teams anymore so it's kind of a big rip to me to have to um do that but that's just a personal that it's a personal issue honestly but yeah that's another mission i wish they would change uh this one's okay faction war stage with at least one rare champion because you know you just do stage one and then throw in uh, i don't know um who's a rare champion uh bellower i wouldn't even consider changing any of my routine uh routines routines to get five dt keys and one energy refill but i agree that this quest has to go i would argue against this because especially during the dark fey you want those extra keys Ordinarily, I agree, but skipping DT keys during the Dark Fey fusion rotation hurts. Exactly. Five DTs isn't actually bad. You can do the super easy boss on super raids, get credit for auto-wing in a couple minutes. Hydra sucks ass. It's hard to auto and takes ages. Yeah, but the other thing is, I, I would say, just like the internet, don't take it too seriously. Like, it's just the game. So, throw your keys in. Eventually, as long as you just stay consistent, you don't even have to, like pound it out and really focus down on anything I, I promise you if you're just logging in every day and collecting things doing the bare minimum over time eventually the, you're, you're gonna be able to do a lot of this stuff on auto and that's just you know what i mean um the game does give you what what you put in but at the same time if you just stick with it right it's it's a it's a it's a marathon not a sprint it's not about those it's about getting the legendary books asap and keep it rotating during Dark Fae, I'm absolutely, it is absolutely about the DT keys for many of us. True, because Lethal Gear is fucking amazing as shit. I agree, along with the one rare... Uh, oh, exactly! This one right here. He's saying This guy is saying the same thing that I'm saying. Along with the one rare in Demon Lord run. That's annoying. Uh, but the Hydra one is worse. I'd you use a Wixwell team just put in Valerie. A lot of people didn't go for Wixwell. I didn't go for Wixwell, so... That's a personal issue, but again, I don't care because Wixpo wasn't going to do anything for me anyway. Don't remove, change. We need those silver keys. Yes, don't remove it. A lot of these quests are painfully outdated, and a constant reminder of features rot. And our constant reminders of feature rot. Rot. Daily quests should be on daily content. Weekly should be on weekly. Make it a permanent part of the weekly quest. It's an enforcement. Yeah, I agree. This would be pretty cool. Um, except for the extra five silver keys that I, I, I want that. So it's an enforcement to do Hydra early, no keys, no keys, no quest. Also pretty inconvenient. For an example, those of us who want to wait till the end of the week to decide whether to tank current rotation or go all in for first place on Hydra Clash, missing advanced quest and losing five silver keys on Dark Fae rotation is a regret or just Hydra in general, to be honest. And I understand where he's coming from because especially in a lot of the end game clans, like the clan I'm in, uh, Currently, one thing that we do, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of the other clans do this too, for, again, 
the greater majority of people, your clan probably isn't doing this. What we do is we wait until about the end of the week to see uh, what kind of damage the other teams are putting out, as well as what what my clan does is we have this log and we keep an, we keep this information about the keys that other clans are putting out, and this will help us decide whether or not we want to put the effort in to maximize damage or just get the top chest and then call it a day and just tank. And that's what he's referring to. Uh, I don't know if everybody keeps logs and information and does research on their opponents, but that's what my clan does. And it's a very, I guess, pay to win strategy to do it, but that's what he's talking about. Once it's uh, reset, use three hydra. Once it reset, use three hydra keys. Then after you won't have to do hydra uh, until reset again. I understand what he's saying. He's basically saying, at, right at reset, knock it out of the park, and you don't have to worry about it. The issue with that, it depends on what the the original poster's situation is, because we don't know what kind of clan he's in, uh, and you know we don't know what his situation is. So maybe he's not able to do all three keys but then again it kind of circles back to hey just throw it on auto but then again i don't know if he's the type of guy that can't throw it on auto but then it circles back again and it's just like hey um even if you can't do your best like just throw your keys in and call it a day or what some people do i know i used to do this too if i didn't like the score i would just hit free replay and then click replay again and then when i got a score that i liked i just said okay that way I'm not sitting there manualing everything. I never finished the advanced quest because of 3v3, so I don't care. I do agree it's a terrible mission. I don't want to be told when to spend an hour on Hydra. You can quit the battle, get the 5 3v3 attacks in very quickly. Yes, this is true. This is something that I do also. You just go in and, like, here, let me show you. You just go in and then you just quit the battle. It counts. It counts towards the, towards the thing. Like, yeah, you drop in rank. You're not really progressing if you want to get into the higher stages but if you do this right at the beginning this doesn't really matter because right at tag team arena reset everybody's kind of down it's around wednesday thursday when you really want to start making your push to climb in tag team arena and then you just do that and I, was that four the other guys on the other side like wow this person attacked me five times i'm so good and there you got your your crypt keys uh it saves time yeah i take way too long to do my advanced quest i very rarely complete them all i might get five to six in a day there's enough to fill in this game as it is yeah on my work days okay so agree with the time it can be annoying get three days in a row it's a small chance for the quest to happen three days in a row uh are you really going to let a free online game free online game dictate what you do with your life they're also over exaggerating it's quite rare to get a hydro key in the first three days of the week they fall evenly over the week I really don't get it either. So you're only doing 9 out of 10 advanced quests that day. You get the Lego book a few days later. A little less forge material. Big deal. Really not worth getting all enraged of it, over it. You miss out on an energy refill. Yeah, 130 energy is, you know, always welcome. I agree it's not that big of a deal, but I do understand the frustration when Polarium has created a problem where there wasn't one before. Exactly. He misses out on an energy refill, but perhaps gets a good night of sleep, or spends time with friends and family or enjoys his dinner. It seems like his priorities are a bit off. Damn, dude, you don't know his situation. And why do people who complain about the time requirement for this game always seem to be working a 12 hour shift? I don't know. I haven't worked. When I was in the military, I was working 14, 16 hour shifts plus on a daily basis. I remember one really fucked up situation where we, I was working um, over a day. I was so sleep, de uh, sleep deprived, but like that's just the military and, and you don't have any say in it. I, I think I was, uh, I was awake legitimately just like off of coffee and pure hatred 36 hours plus uh like the, I, I woke up went to work the sun was out the sun wasn't out and then the sun came back out again and then we went back and then they called us back in a few hours later uh because we needed to do more work and i was like fuck this shit dude and uh, and i'm not the only one in the military who's done that if you're if you're a veteran or if you're in the military you know exactly what i'm talking about and it's always those those butter bars those lieutenants, always those officers who who need to, you know, prove something and, and get their get their you know whatever their numbers or whatever it is out there, but they're not the ones out there um, doing. Anyway, I'm I'm getting off topic. And why do people complain? Oh, I said that. Uh, to be fair, it does make sense that people working long hours with less free time to spare would be the ones that complain about it. And that's true. That's fair. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. What's wrong with somebody wanting to play a game, um, especially if they're working 12-hour shifts? Goddamn. Nowadays, I don't work 12-hour shifts. 
I, uh, I honestly barely work anymore. Uh, but I mean, I, I work in the sense that like I, I have my day job, but I also do YouTube on three different accounts and that is work, but also like I love doing YouTube and I just enjoy the shit out of it and I get paid to do it. Full disclosure, yeah, I get paid. I don't get paid a lot, but it's it's scalable, right? So the bigger I get, especially across three channels, the more I'm eventually gonna be able to uh, get paid and then eventually that turns into a full-time job and it's something that I, I love, something that I enjoy doing, um, making good content. Uh, let me see here. Uh, when I get that's when I use my key. Honestly, this quest doesn't bother me. It's the ridiculous energy requirements needed for dungeon divers. Yep, during fusions. Uh, Democrat, mu <laughs> Democrat must have thought of this quest. The game is what it is. You don't need to play. I haven't done a full set of daily quests for months. Yeah, there are days, and I told you guys this before, I don't bother doing advanced quests for a lot of the time. You can't talk on round her. Him. You can't talk like that round her. Bunch of crackheads with $100 a day habits up in here. They get really down votey if you talk bad about their... Oh, this is French. Why, why did he start off with a country accent and then switch to raison d'etre? Reason to be, by the way, for those of uh, you who don't speak French. But I keep wanting, every time I see this word, I, I want to say raisin, just because I'm I'm a naturally an English speech, uh, speaker, but this is pronounced raison. I will skip it, but I also agree this should be removed, free to play. I just ignore all that stuff. This game is made for whales anyway. True, not complaining. Whales keep the game free. Uh, what do you guys think? Do whales keep the shit free? Smacking your girlie's box, she a camel pack. Touching the end zone and we go running back.